Hey guys, still says CX. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. We are leaving Slayport City and heading up to Route 110. So, um, oh, hello, Professor Birch. What are you doing over here? Yeah, that's what I just said. And where's May? She's not with us. Again, I said the same thing. And a Pokemon has, or a Pokenav, excuse me, has a match call. And jeez, everybody wants our phone number so we can call Professor Birch at any time and have him evaluate the Pokedex. And keep an eye out for May because he loves her, but he can't do it because of work. I know there's gonna be a Pokemon over here that I wanna find, so I'll cut to when I find it. Here we go, let's see what we have! Wait, is this what- Oh my god, this is a shiny Pokemon! Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap! Shiny Pokemon are so awesome. They are differently colored Pokemon, and they are extremely rare. The odds of finding one are so slim, and let alone the odds of getting it on camera are even slimmer, so I'm switching out to Sark and Bowl so I can at least capture and catch this thing. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting! I can't believe it! Critical hit, yes, that is... Well, it's good now, but it would have been a lot more terrible. Or, but... Ah, I'm so excited! I can't believe it's a shiny Pokemon! And I have just a nickname for it, too. Oh my gosh, this is perfect! Sarkinvoil, use Tackle. Alright, I think a Great Ball should do it. Let's go. Come on. Great Ball. Great Ball. Yeah, let's do it. Great Ball, come on. Blue Ball for a blue Pokemon. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. One, two. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Ah, oh, you suck. Well, you rock, but you suck for breaking out of the Pokeball. Alright, one more tackle should do it. I'm at 10 health, so I'm pretty low here. Alright, that should be pretty good. Alright, Pokeballs, let's go. Only one Pokemon has been called the Great Ball so far. Come on. One. Two. Ah, oh, come on, get in a dang Pokeball already. Come on, get in a Pokeball already. I don't care if you're raising your attack. Just get in a Pokeball. Come on. Get in a Ah, oh, come on. That was even worse than before. Come on, get in a Pokeball. Gosh darn it. Come on, Pokeball. Alright, so that's one, two, three. Yes! Oh, that was so awesome. And if the audio kind of skips out for you guys, I apologize for that, but I don't care. I got a shiny Pokemon. Now watch. It goes from green to blue. That was so cool. I had the perfect nickname for it. Electro... Oh wait, I have enough room, so I'm going to change this right now. Alright, backspace. I... Am... Electro... I am Electro, and Spider-Man will fall right into my trap! Oh my gosh, a friend of mine does that perfectly, and I love it. It's so hilarious. Well, let's check him out. Wait, are you, are you guys seeing that? It says Bod, like with A, A's from two different foreign languages. Okay, I, you guys saw me name him, nickname him I am Electro. Well, luckily we're right nearby Slateport, and we can go there and change that. So yeah, that, that's pretty lucky that I got him right around here. So yeah, we're going to be heading back to Slateport now, so we're not done there yet. Alright, Slateport City. Now we finally we get to use a name raider, which is very helpful. It's just a nickname changer, let's see. I'm the name raider, fortune teller our names, and he rates your names. He says they're good, but he makes them better. Bah, that's quite a fine name. No, it's not. I wanted it to be something different. So for real this time, it's going to be I am Electro for Spider-Man will fall right into my trap. Yeah, if any of you um, ever watched the original He-Man Masters of the Universe, that's like the Skeletor voice, and the original villain Electro from the Spider-Man comic, yes, I am Electro. That is a better name. Yes, it is. Alright, so thanks, old man. You helped us out greatly. But, oh my gosh, I can't believe I found a shiny electric. That is so cool. Welcome to the Pokemon Center where you restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Two, three, four, five. We have five Pokemon on our team right now. Well, four plus the HM slave. We hope to see you again. Uh, yeah, you will. Maybe not here, but somewhere else, I bet. I wonder if all the Nurse Joys just, like, secretly move from one Pokemon Center to the other. So, he's deciding on taking Cycling Road or going the other route that we're taking to get to Marvel City, which is the third gym and the next town we're going to. Alright, now, um, we definitely want I Am Electro to be in this battle. So we're gonna swap him. And then, um, 
Maybe hard to find. Actually, no, I'm, I don't want to move all of it yet. I could just press the B button and I burped again. But anyway, we have a double battle right here. I'll go anywhere to show off my delightful Pokemon. I won't keep Pokemon anymore. You won't see any more notable sight. But yeah, whatever. This battle actually took a really, really long time, so I'm gonna uh, double double the speed. So then we have Ninja Gecko and I am Electro. I am Electro is being all epic. And I'm gonna yeah, he already comes with four moves, which is awesome. And Helping Hand, yeah, that was a double fail. But Helping Hand it increase multiplies the moves power by 1.5 in double battles only. In a single battle, it's completely worthless. But it's funny when they do it twice. That's awesome, and you stupid mind or whatever. Whoever did that, you paralyzed my I am Electro. You shall pay for that. And yeah, I really don't give a crap about your orange berry. I really don't. So I'm going to use uh, his turn to heal up with a cherry berry. Or just a cherry, I guess. It'd be cool if regular cherries in the real world could heal paralysis. That'd be cool. So they both have a plus little. Each of them has a plus little on the mind, man. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, put a howl out there just in case I can attack with I am Electro. Or he is an Electro! And Orin Berry, you must heal because you are a berry of the Orin variety and you do that. Whatever. Yeah, they. Double, 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 double hand is really fail. So anyway, Ninja Gecko is tied for first in our level ranking, and my mom took something in my sister's room, but I do not care. I'm gonna go for the leader to get a defense shot to make this battle go quicker, and a critical hit, nice. But yeah, my leader, that'll pretty much do nothing. The leader that I put on them will do nothing, pretty much. So anyway, Orenberry's gonna restore health, quick attack, I do not know why the audio keeps skipping out, the music keeps skipping out, it might skip out, might not skip out for you guys, but I don't know if it skips out for you, but it definitely is for me. So anyway, we're gonna go with a tackle and see if we can get any decent damage on this guy. And there's that. Alright, I'm just gonna try and see if I can take it out with I Am Electro, because I Am Electro is awesome. For I Am Electro! Oh my god, I'm never gonna stop saying that. So he uses Tackle, Flash and Tackle. I'm using Flash to make sure it doesn't even hit us at all. And Stupid Orenberry. Stupid Orenberry. Alright, so there we go. He's using Ninja Gecko's being awesome using Flash. Alright, I'm just going to end it with a quick attack. Or try to end it at least. Alright, so then I think a Tackle should do it. Alright, come on. There we go. Critical hit. Awesome. And I am Electro grew to level 13. Awesome. He goes up pretty good in special attack and speed. So she's going to add us to our Pokenav. And hers. So um, right now, there, I think there's something we can get back in Rustboro that I just remembered. So I'll meet you guys there. And we got the EXP share. This is what you get for delivering the letter and the packages. So you can give this to a Pokemon, and if it doesn't battle, it gets some of the EXP. But if you if it does battle and it has the EXP share on, I'm gonna give it to I am Electro. It actually gets like double the EXP, so that'll be very helpful. So I'm gonna meet you guys. Okay, I met you here already. So let's see what the sign says. Three steps to the right and two steps to the left. Reads wondrous trick house. One, two, three, and one, two. Hey, look at that! A sign that doesn't lie. You're being watched. By uh, Gleam, I guess. Go to the Gleam, press A next to it. Hawker, how did you know I can see myself beneath this desk? You're sharp. Behold, for I am the greatest living mystery man of all the home, and I call me the Trick Master. So he's gonna challenge us to his apparently uh, Trick Mastery ways, I guess. And he gets to spin around and fly up in the air, and there's a big hole behind the school. So there's an entire puzzle here based around cutting down trees, and we have to find that scroll in the upper left. I can slash my way to the video with cut, but I seriously doubt that. That's what I did. I just cut the video to battle right out. So, ATEM Kunad is going to be very helpful here. And this is a completely optional thing. I just like the chat. I just like the. I like the trick house. It's pretty good. You can get some pretty cool items from here, too. So, we get cut again. I would fast forward this, but it might or might not affect the music, but I don't know. I like talking. It's really nice. HM Kun uses cut. Or HM Kun Ed, I guess. It can be cut down. Yes, the trees are in here. Every single tree can be cut down. So then there's that. 
a cut, and I think I'm gonna go after that Pokeball, like, Pokeball chest up there. Doesn't have a Pokeball in it, it's got something else, which is kind of crappy. Really is kind of crappy, I do not like it. But, I mean, how will I know that? I haven't even gotten to it yet. For all I know, it could be, uh, rare candy or something. But it's an orange meal, I knew it was gonna be crappy anyway. But orange meal, they're really not fun. I think they're more use, more fun to use in games with Wi-Fi. Because if you trade it to somewhere around the, somewhere across the globe, they'll actually get your letter, which is really cool. Alright, so we'll talk to her, because who's a trick master? Oh, um, my answer to that question is a trick master is a pedophile who likes to build traps and trap little kitties in there, and a secret code is written on it. We don't get to see the code now, that sucks. But yeah, he's a psychopathic pedophile who traps little kitties in his maze, and we're the only one who's standing up to him right now. So anyway, we go to fight this kid. I went into this weird house by accident. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Sure, look, I can be cut down. And HM uses Kun uses Kunat uses cut. And this is the final cut we had to do. Trick Master is fabulous. Um, I guess he is. So anyway, we can go talk to him. Ah, you made it to me? Hmm, you're sharp. Took me all night to plant all those trees. You really planted all those trees? And more importantly, one night? So there's seven challenges, but he gives us a rare candy for completing this one. So there's seven cha challenges challenges total but before we can equal him, which I don't know why we want to do. Why would we want to equal a pedophile? I seriously don't know why. But I mean, hey, the game wrote it. The game is written. There's something we can do now. Unless you want to hack, but I don't like hacking. Alright, so that's going to be it for the trick house for a while. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Emerald. Bye!